You know, I want to thank you all for coming here today, and I want to thank Susan for giving the, uh, me this opportunity. Uh, it's important to, to the Sun and all our sister newspapers and publications, uh, which uh, include the, the Fitchburg Sentinel Enterprise, uh, and also the six weekly publications of the Neshoba publications that are based in Devons. As a member of a nonprofit, or someone who wants to get out your word, you know, the, the, the key to you is hitting the target audience that you want. If you want a broad uh, audience, certainly you saturate all the media, or at least you try to saturate all the media uh, in, your, uh, you know, in your, your area of service. But sometimes it also uh, makes a difference to pay attention to people to who you hope will disseminate. How many people in this room have written a press release? Okay, so, well, so most of you have. All right, so the ones who, uh, who haven't written a press release, uh, hopefully by the end of the day, will take the panic on it, okay? And for you who, uh, who have written press releases in the past, you know, you might pick up some, some, uh, some, uh, some better tips, or some ideas to improve that message and how to get your, uh, you know, what you're trying to say to the, to the audience that you, you want to reach. I'll just tell you a, a, the, uh, a little uh, history and a little update about the sun because it's important to understand the media that you're dealing with. I mean, the sun is a local community newspaper. We're out here uh, uh, to provide a service to our customers, our clients. It's not Jim Campanini's newspaper, it's not Mark O'Neill or, or Kendall Wallace's newspaper. Our, we stay in business because we serve readers who are our clients, okay? So we want to disseminate your information. But if you've seen through the last couple of years, there's been a great consolidation in the news, in the news business. And people call me and say, gee, you know, uh, the paper is getting smaller. Uh, there aren't as many pages in the, in, in, the, in the newspaper. And they're right. Join the digital world. I mean, every one of you in this room probably has a cell phone or some mobile device or a laptop computer. The Sun, like any other organization, is pushing to that digital model. Now, hopefully in my, you know, in, in my lifetime, we'll continue to, to print the newspaper. And I think we'll always be, will be printed. I think it's going to become a unique, a, a unique uh, a, a vehicle someday. Maybe then we can charge them, you know, fifty dollars a week for, for for people to want their, their their newspapers in print. I don't know. I don't know what the future is, but the tendency from the Boston Globe to the Washington Post to the New York Times, they're all pushing to digital. They're creating bigger and broader markets than they ever had before. And the big thing with the digital market, there's no overhead. I could run the Lowell Sun for my, for my bedroom with my pajamas on today. Sad to say, I could. I mean, we could Skype, I could have all the reporters. They're all mobile, they all have their computers, cell phones, they're taking photos. I don't know if you've seen uh, uh, Rob Mills, he's our police reporter. Uh, I mean, the, the guy is like Serpico, he works at night. Uh, he just was honored by the, uh, the company, Digital First Media, he has the, uh, he, his blog, uh, police blog, it was police line, was judged the best in America. And he went out to Denver to receive his award, which included a thousand dollar check. So it was, that, that was nice. But, uh, but these reporters are doing things that, uh, that uh, you know, even I never even envisioned when I first came into the industry, when I was carrying around a wing computer on my back. Okay, and setting it up at a tabletop and looking for an outlet, where to put the cord in and stuff like that. So, you have the print on this side, which is contracting, and the digital on this side, which is expanding. Six o'clock, you still read so the game that was played, you know, nine o'clock that night, all right? The world has moved on. They already know the Red Sox are playing, they're on TV, so, so <laughs> there are limitations with the newspaper. Where now the digital, okay, it, could, uh, it, it, it just affords you instantaneous uh, uh, access to your audience. And why do I say that? Well, if 
if I was going to if I was going to design a press release a campaign, and I knew I had an event that was a month or two away, I would write a press release right away. I wouldn't I wouldn't wait till a month before, three weeks before. <coughs> I'd start my little campaign. I'd say two months before the event. Hold this date. We got a great speaker or event coming on. And then I tell the, the local media, whoever, hey, run this digital, get it up there. Once it gets on the website, it has a market of 30,000 unique viewers a day in the sun. Okay? If you combine that with the Fitchburg Sentinel, now you're up to 50,000. If you combine that up with the, uh, the, uh, the weeklies, you're up to about 60,000. The circulation for the sun is between any day of the week is between 38,000 and 44, 46,000 on a Sunday, which is our largest day. So think of the numbers. Think of the reach. Now those are unique. Those are unique visits. Page views is a whole other story. The sun gets almost 4 million page views a month. That means people coming on and searching the website going through. Okay? You add up all the you add up all the pages that we print in the newspaper. It could be between 20 and 30 pages a day. That doesn't even come close to 4 million page views a day. So I'm saying don't be afraid of starting and thinking of a digital campaign and starting early because the sooner you get it up there, you say, save this day, we got this coming. Then you map out a week later, you send out something different. You might uh, uh, tailor that press release, that little more information, maybe a photo of the, of, of the speaker. And we'll go into some of those uh, touches that make it effective. So the sun is always willing to do that. If you said, hey, Jim, can I get this in the paper tomorrow? And you know what? Some of that space is cataloged. You know, two days in advance, really. I mean, right now we're down to, you know, breaking news, covering major events uh, in, in the local communities. And you know what? Things always happen overnight that have force us to make up our, to, to remake our newspaper. I mean, we still want the best news in that newspaper for the people. And, and right now, local news is, is uh, being generated at a, an astronomical rate. I mean, every community is making news, not just local. Look how many of you are here representing nonprofits. It's, it's exploding. You're doing good and valuable work in your communities, and you want to get out your word and, 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 uh, and, 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 and tell everybody, and hopefully, uh, you know, do whatever you, you have to do to become successful. Us every day, go to Bedford, drop off his food, come back. He did that for a month, collected 900 pounds. Now you're saying, wow, this is, this is more than just a present. She was highlighting the campaign and how they reached their goal, which you know, probably would have been two or three paragraphs, you know. Uh, but this turns something into uniqueness. So when you write a press release, you don't exaggerate, okay? But if you, that's what you have to look for. There's something behind the story. You have a fundraising drive that's success, successful. Is there anyone in your in your group who? But above and beyond the call of duty. You look for those special things, those unique things. She happened to send in this press release with a couple of photos of Mr. Lovelace, courtesy photos, that were attached to the press release. And you know, I, I kicked it over to the news desk and I said, hey, let's uh, look into this. Let's contact Mr. Lovelace and, uh, and uh, you know, let's, let's do a story. Well, it, the, the story is in today's little son on the front page, okay? Uh, it would have been sooner, but Mr. Lovelace is truly a hero and a reluctant one. You know, he he really didn't want any uh, any uh, fanfare and stuff. So, but uh, he was uh, finally uh, he was finally uh, uh, you know he was, he was finally cajoled by the people down at the VA. This would be good for us. It would also be good for you. And he sat down for a radio. Any questions about that? But do you see the value in something like that? When there's a human face behind something. 
Not, not every press release is going to be turned into that because most time when you do press releases, you're, you're announcing an event, a promotion. Um, it could be a job promotion, people changing titles, 